the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> so, premise number one there is existence. Yeah, you see existence around you and you exist. Yeah, that's yeah. number one. Uh, number two, do you believe that there is uniformity, regularity, and stability in nature? And I'll break that down. What I mean by that is, I'm putting my hat, dangling my hat in front of you. Yeah. Why is this hat not randomly combusting, exploding, flying away? Because there are basic principles that don't allow that. Exactly. Yeah. The mere fact that you're able to cross the road, the mere fact that uh, you're confident that if you start walking up the park, you won't, <laughs> you won't randomly get stuck up a tree or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or your leg won't just drop off or. You get like, I don't know, a, a hippopotamus like growing out of your leg or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, therefore, there has to be an existence that explains the regularity, stability, and uniformity of nature. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, that's what we say is the first cause. Yeah? That there is a first cause. Because if there is an existence that explains the uniformity, regularity and stability of nature that first cause needs to have certain attributes Yeah. So if for example you have a first cause that is the start of everything Yeah. yeah? Do you accept the first cause argument? Yeah, yeah Okay brilliant So there's a first cause Then what we're going to do is we're going to give attributes to it First cause By definition first cause implies that they are not first causes It's a first cause Singular, yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. So I guess the distinction I'm making here is that of monotheism and polytheism people that believe that there's like loads of gods mm -hmm. and People that believe that there's only one God. Yeah So what I'm saying is that this first cause that you're okay with yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah uh, that this first cause is alone Doesn't rely on anything and anyone because it's the first cause, isn't it? Yeah. So first by definition means no one else is there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's by itself, it's self-sufficient, relies on itself. And then what comes afterwards relies on the first cause. Yeah, yes. because everything is now being Built. produced yeah, yeah. from the first yeah. cause. So that first cause <coughs> needs to have certain qualities. Now, that first cause, if that first cause came into existence, it's not the first cause anymore because there's something that came before it that made that come into existence, isn't it? Yeah. So that first cause has to be omnipotent, i.e. there forever, omniscient, yeah? Um, and then the creator and the fashioner of all. Does that make sense at the moment? It does, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So Nick, that in a nutshell is what we argue. That sometimes, like, uh, you know, these neo-atheists that say, look, we have no issue with the designer. But then they att attribute that design to say an alien, to say uh, multiverse or to chance yeah. or to nothing. Yeah, so they'll say, oh, it came from nothing. But then again, that's contradictory because philosophically, uh, you've been studying philosophy, you know, there's philosophically, they, they don't know what nothing is <laughs> because they, they, they haven't been able to define nothing. There's no yeah. such thing as nothing yeah. as we know it because we know about dark energy and stuff like that. Um, and then when you say stuff like, oh, multiverse, well, there's no real evidence for multiverse. There's none, yeah, yeah there's, there's nothing. I mean, they, they, they tried with string, string theory, that fell on his face. Yeah. <laughs> they tried with M theory, that died with uh, Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Uh, he took you with him into the grave. So, um, yeah, so, so that, that's what we're saying in essence, that we have a first cause. That first cause has, uh, has attributes. And those attributes are best explained uh, via Islam. You've got the likes of Hinduism, which will explain that there are a multitude of gods. You have one god of this aspect uh, of life, one god of death, you have one god of this and one god of that. And logically speaking, that because... Really make much sense. Brilliant, brilliant, excellent. Does it make sense to you that, okay, there's a first cause, that first cause has attributes and it makes sense 
that there's one God and not a multiplicity of gods. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant.